Nick Pierce out here at Flames Fall Camp Day 1 as we visit here with uh, DJ Abner from the Liberty Flames football team running back. And uh, DJ figures to play a big factor in this uh, team this year, especially with the loss of Des Rice. We'll touch on that in just a little bit. But first, DJ, how'd it go out here today? You guys just now getting acclimated back into uh, fall camp and back into football. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I would say this is probably the best first day that we had since I've been here. Uh, everybody was kind of moving at a fast speed. We got to get better at transition to different parts in the practice, but overall it was a pretty good day, I would say, for the offense. All right, now your third year with the program, you know that you're going to have an expanded role this year with the loss of Dez back from spring balls, but you've known him for a while. Uh, what are your expectations for yourself, and what have you done to prepare yourself for this? Uh, my expectations for myself is to just do what God gave me the ability to do, which is go out here and play football. Um, I'm proud of my gains. I, I put on about 10 pounds, so I'm, almost, I'm about 187, 190 range. Um, I've just been working hard. I didn't go home this summer. Uh, a lot of field work, a lot of film study for the preparation for myself, but I've been mainly trying to keep like the younger guys so we can have somebody, if I go down, like uh, always working with them. That's pretty much my main focus this summer is gaining a little bit more weight just to get a little bit more bigger, making sure that the backups or the people who have the opportunity to play a lot uh, know the system, know that type of information. Also encouraging Dez to kind of keep his head up and help me out because I'm going to need a lot of help from him um, taking on this role. You talk about putting a little bit of weight on. Was that uh, a point of emphasis for you just to know that you're going to need to be a little bit more durable this year? Uh, not really. I, I, I've been putting on weight since I've been here, so I, I knew I wanted to put on maybe about five, but I ended up putting on seven pounds. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it, it's just going to help me out. It's not going to do anything differently completely, but, I mean, it changed my running style a little bit, but um, it's going to help me out, be able to take a little bit more pounding, um, be able to get away, stiff arms, running people over, all of that. So, I'm excited about it. Seeing Des out here at practice, uh, how much of a factor is he still playing in the team? A whole lot. I mean, Dez is a leader. He's my big brother. I hang out with him. We talk all the time. Yeah. Uh, he's helping me every day. Every day we call and talk each other about something. So, um, I mean, he's, it sucks not being with him on the side, um, being my partner in crime. And we've always dreamed about it since I've been here. I mean, we butt heads a little bit, but I mean, he, he kind of took me under his wing and showed me a way, showed me the way to run the ball, showed me the way to act out here, showed me a godly way of doing things. So, um, I mean, it sucks not having my brother next to me, but I know he's there. I know he's going to help me out if I need it. You talk about some of the younger guys and uh, the, the guys that will be in there with you, Todd Macon, Austin Kegler. Uh, tell us about those guys and how much of a factor they can be. Well, this, from what I hear and from what I, what I you know, I hear that, you know, this is going to be an issue. The running back is pretty much an issue. But I think this year we're bringing something different to the table. Uh, we have a slasher. We have two power backs. We have a jittery, quick guy, Josh. Uh, and it's going to be exciting to see all of them do something crazy, do something exciting that nobody's ever seen and done here at Liberty. And it's going to be something different. It's going to be something new. It's going to be something fun. I talked to Josh Woodrum the other day, and he said that you guys are going to play more of a, a role in the passing game this year. Uh, given your styles and, and the way that you guys can turn you know, short gains into big plays, uh, how, how do you figure that this is going to not change the look of the offense but, but help you guys? Um, I mean, we got to use our weapons. We're, uh, we have to be honest with our, with our offense. You have, to, you have to let everybody know what their role is. And passing, running the ball, kicking, punt, uh, the running backs are going to get it done. Whether, whether they're special teams, offense, defense, we're going to get it done. And that's pretty much how it is. It's, this is going to have to have the work. You're going to be doing some special teams, uh, more return game this year too, right? Hopefully. That's yeah. the plan. That is the plan. All right, DJ, appreciate the time and uh, wish you the best of luck here through fall camp. Appreciate it. All right, that's Flames running back DJ Abner. Stay tuned to LibertyFlames.com for more exclusive coverage of Liberty Flames fall camp. For the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.